Hello and welcome to level 5. So let's see how we do here. You can see, again, this opponent is not bringing any of the machine guns, and fortunately for us, their snipers are in split spawns. Uh, one sniper on the left, one sniper on the right, which means they're less likely to find themselves in a situation where their snipers are stacked up, but everyone is close to the, the capture points. Or, uh, everyone is close to the bases, which could be a bit of an issue. You can see our bots aren't doing that great of a job of moving onto the base to capture it. They're trying to shoot at the enemy, which has been working out really well for us in the past, but domination, like each new game mode can present new challenges. And in this case, we weren't taking a base that we could have taken. Our bots were so incredibly close, they could have had it. So I do know, um, a couple. I do know one thing we can do to fix that, but we'll see how this one plays out, and we'll fix it in the next one if we need to. But you can see that this has kind of become a mess down here. Uh, we are still ahead, but they're actually scoring faster than us because they've got two bases with one bonus on it, or had one bonus on it. We only had one base with two bonuses on it. And now we're neutralizing this one, so that's a good thing for us. And we're going to run up and capture, or start trying to capture this top base. Let's see how far we are. Okay, so our bots did manage to make it onto the base. That's good. So right now they're not scoring anything, and that is okay by me. Our bot respawned right next to that guy. He just got wrecked. And that'll clear out their sniper as well. So they're going to take this base down here, but I think that'll be alright because we're basically trading this base for the other two. Uh, so there are a few schools of thought on how exactly to conduct yourself in domination. And without getting into trying to calculate score differences and things like that, uh, generally speaking, one, one school of thought is Capture and contest all the bases because you don't know what's going to happen, and so you want to build as much of a lead as you can, as early as you can. And the other school of thought is capture the minimum number of bases you need and keep all of your bots on those bases to rack up as many bonus points as you can. And the idea being that if all of your bots are together, they can focus fire more effectively and deal more damage to the enemy because you don't have... Uh, because your bots are able to kill faster. Because ultimately, one bot shooting at one bot, there's very little actual damage being done. When you get six bots firing at a single target, though, they generally devastate it. And our, our bots down here are holding pretty well. Um, normally, I would consider three of our bots being occupied by two of theirs to be disadvantageous. But in this case, it was working out in our favor because our bots were standing on the base. Uh, they have since moved to this mid base, but it's kind of just the same thing, but a different location. Uh, the enemy's bots are kind of collapsing on this top base, but if you look, we have built up a considerable point lead. And... Yeah, I think we're far enough ahead that I don't think they can catch up. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it. We do have one thing we can improve. Uh, basically making sure our bots are even more likely to stay on a base. Because staying on a base is the most important part. But, um, we won that one. So, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.